Let us stand as we prepare for Mass. Blessed by your sacrifice, strong in your love, O Christ, our grateful voices to you we raise. True adoration throughout creation rings out in joyful songs of praise. O splendor, glory bright, brought forth as light from light, O day, all day, sin, lightening. Angels with one accord cry, Holy, Holy Lord, to you our everlasting King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I urge all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest, St. Pius, a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so be brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. And nothing to his words. Least he reprove you and you will be exposed as a deceiver. Two things I ask of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Put falsehood and lying far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Provide me only with the food I need. Least, being full, I deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or, being in want, I steal and profane the name of my God. The word of the Lord. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Remove me from the way of falsehood and favor me with your law, your Lord, oh, 
It's a lamp for my feet. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than the word thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. For every evil way I withhold my feet, that I may keep your words. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Through your precepts I gain discernment. Therefore, I hate every false way. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Falsehood I hate and abhor. Your law I love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, Proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. If you had to think about it, being one of the twelve disciples, um, it had have been pretty hard to accept. If, if you could imagine, you know, being one of them and Jesus giving you authority and power to cure, cure those who are sick, to expel demons, to do all of these things. Um, you probably look him right in the eye and, and say, and say uh, you know, how are we supposed to do this? And yet Jesus tells them today to go proclaim the kingdom of God, heal the sick, and then don't take any food, any clothes, any money along with you. A few of us, you know, we might be raring to go. We might be feeling, you know, fully into this, like, I can do this. Uh, but probably a lot of us are, are going to be, you know, wondering, how are we supposed to do this? Where do we even begin? So today we look at the Twelve. They didn't have provisions. They probably had no idea what Jesus was actually telling them to do. But yet they still took that first step. They shared about their experience of God's love and reached out to sick people and healed them. And for his part, you know, after they took their first step, God took control and gave them whatever they needed for, for their ministry. And Jesus is sending us out today, even though we're 2,000 years removed from this, from this, from this uh, gospel passage today. He's sending us out just as he sent the apostles out. Are we ill-equipped? Yes. Um, but knowing that's a good place to start. The apostles, they weren't well-equipped as well. But they started out when Jesus said, go. And like them, we can take that first step and watch as God gives us exactly what we need, even if we feel like we don't have it. So don't, today, don't worry about whether or not 
we have what it takes to be a, a faithful Christian, to be an evangelizer of the faith. We just step out. Take that first step and trust that Jesus is there for the journey. As we come before Christ today in this Holy Mass, we offer Him to, to, uh, to our Lord our petitions. We pray for the Holy Mother Church, that it may always lead, lead uh, the faithful and all those in need to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all those who are struggling this day because of because of lack of resources or, or any sort of mental illness. We pray for healing and for, for sharing of our resources. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who enact laws in our country, that they may, that they may, may always respect the dignity of every human being. We pray to the Lord. We pray for, we pray for an increase of of, uh, of holiness in our lives and in the world. We pray that all people may come to know Christ as their Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray for all those preparing for their sacraments in our parish. We pray for, we pray for all the uh, children preparing to uh, receive their first reconciliation and their first communion. And we pray for all of our young adults preparing for confirmation. We pray that they may grow in love with Christ. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. And we lift up in prayer all of the parishioners of our parish, that their prayers may be heard this day. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for all of those who have died, that they may experience the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Loving Father, you send us out on mission to go and proclaim your good news and to heal those who, who need healing. Help us always in this task and in the, in the calling of our life, granting our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Pius, 
so that as you brought him to glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of St. Pius, that we may persevere in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to let you know that Eugene Borman uh, passed away, um, and his funeral mass will be here at St. Joseph's on this Friday at 11 o'clock. Um, any other? Any other? Uh, his wake service will be here at the church Thursday afternoon, 4 to 7. Wake service will be uh, Thursday afternoon from 4 to 7 here at St. Joseph's. Uh, so please pray for Eugene Borman. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Come, raise the anthem high, let praises fill the sky. 
Sing out a new song unto the Lord. Let all with heart and voice before the throne rejoice of him whom heaven and earth adore.